Mach 1 has created the most simplified approach to spatial audio that preserves existing audio best practices. In this demo, I'll be running through how to use Mach 1 Panner and Monitor and routing in a Reaper session. I'll start out by opening a Mach 1 template to get you familiar with how the Panner and Monitor look and how they work. So here we have three channels. One is a mono audio track, one is a stereo audio track, and one is quad. Each of these channel configurations can be used in the Mach 1 spatial system. In order to spatialize the channels, you have to put a Mach 1 panner on the insert, and then route it to the spatial mix bus. So one thing about Reaper that you have to watch out for is your routing. First off, nothing besides the monitor bus should be going to the master send. Besides that, just know that Mach 1 is an 8 channel environment, so each track's channel section should be 8. And if you're sending to a reverb or the spatial mix bus, be sure to change your audio dropdown from 1, 2 to 8 channel. With the quad sources, you can also change the panner settings. You can either use this just as a quad, or as Ambisonic's A or B format as an input. Let's say we're working on a virtual reality project and we have some mono foley, some stereo production, and a quad field recording. At first look, the panner is pretty straightforward. It gives you the ability to place the audio object within a three-dimensional space, control over rotation, height, and spread, and also has other cool options like overlay that we'll get into a little later. One of the features is a divergence control. The amount of divergence represents how much sound is isolated in that desired direction and not anywhere else. At maximum 100% divergence, the signal is not audible in the opposite direction, which is pretty cool and unique to the Mach 1 format. As you lower the divergence, signal is more omnipresent in all directions. So let's say we place the audio where we want it to be in the space, add effects, compression, or whatever we want. And let's see where it gets bus to and how we hear it in stereo. So we follow the spatial mix bus here. This is where all of the Mach 1 spatial audio is being routed. Think of this as your mastering section. This is the last step to change how your audio sounds as a whole. After the master bus, it gets sent to the spatial monitor bus. This is what decodes the 8 channel audio to stereo. It reflects where you're looking at in the space. Monitor has nothing to do with panning, it's literally just how you look around your mix like you would when you are experiencing the project in VR. So imagine it's tracking your head. So that's a very brief overview of monitor and panner. Let's open up session we were working in for VR. So in this project, we have been working to a monoscopic version of the video. This is where the overlay function in the panner becomes very helpful. So by using this function, we can now pan directly to what's in the video. As you can see, as we move the overlay, it changes the parameters. Now as you go through panning with the overlay, you can just bodies. drop automation markers, clean it up, make it smooth, and there you have it. There was bodies. Here, I just saw them. So that was an intro demo video on how to use some Mach 1 tools within Reaper. You can watch some of the other tutorials for more in-depth uses and demos of the other tools that make up the Mach 1 spatial system.